Titan, our ocean drifted. They're tiny and microscopic, but that does not mean they're not important to our environment. So plankton can grow in many large numbers, covering most of our seas. And they mostly go from place to place by ocean currents. Scientists classify plankton in different sizes, types, and how long they spend drifting. But the most basic categories are, of plankton are divided into two groups. Phytoplankton, which are tiny microscopic plants which produce more oxygen than our own rainforests. And zooplankton, that are animals, which include larvae, fish larvae, and many other types of microscopic creatures. Phytoplankton are tiny microscopic plants, but they play a huge role in the marine food web. And they're the base to this food web. Just like the trees on land produce ox oxygen and sucking in most of the carbon dioxide in our oceans. How do the phytoplankton produce their food? Well, first, they take in sunlight, just like any other normal plant. And then they take it to their single-celled chloroplast. And then it produces sugar and oxygen at the same time. And this process is called photosynthesis. Phytoplankton is occurred on the surface. But what about the deep oceans? Instead, there's a process called chemosynthesis. This provides a food source to zooplankton. So, now when the plankton produces large blooms that can be seen from outer space, so diatoms, and they're the most common type. Uh, when you see them from a microscope, they come in all different shapes and sizes, and most of them are transparent. Dinoflagellate, they are both an animal and a plant at the same time. So, the sandstone cliffs you see at, at your beaches are actually formed from diatom skeletons millions and millions of years ago. Zooplankton include microscopic animals and it's mostly of eggs and larvae. Krill, sea snails, pelagic worms, crab larvae, anemones, coral, worms, copepods, and many other more. Most zooplankton eat phytoplankton. Krill may be the best known types of zooplankton. They are a major component in the diets of humpback whales and especially blue whales. And the blue whales have their diet fully on krill. During the daylight hours, zooplankton generally drift in the bottom of the oceans which helps them be avoided from predators. And the phytoplankton usually stay up at the surface. And only at night, the zooplankton come out to feed on phytoplankton. And the dinoflagellates glow with blue color. It's an everyday migration from the surface to the bottom, again and again, day by day. And this process is considered the most largest migration on Earth. Plankton are the base for our food web. So the zooplankton eat the phytoplankton and the tiny fish larvae eat the zooplankton. And, the, and small fish eat those tiny fish larvae. And then bigger fish and onto predators. So if this cycle is corrupted of human activity, this, the whole the whole ecosystem and the food chain collapses. So we must protect our ocean drifters and our oceans.